guys. Happy Monday. Today we take Mr. Grant back to the vet to have his eye checked again to see if that corneal ulcer is doing any better. Um, some days, I know um, a couple videos ago or my last video, I said I thought it was getting better. And then some days when I wake up in the morning and look at them, I don't think it's getting better. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for sure if it's getting better or not. Um, look at my. <laughs> yeah, so we will find out at 4.30. It's almost quarter to four right now. So um, I've got to get him cleaned up, brush his face, get him ready to go to the vet. I got to see if his cone's wet. Uh, when he gets drinks of water with that cone on, he doesn't get the cone in the water, but, be, but because his beard gets wet, and the inside of the cone is material, soft material. Um, the inside of his cone gets wet, so sometimes I've got to blow dry it. I tried to wash this. Can you see here? I tried to wash it in the washing machine, and look what I did to it. I didn't even put it in the dryer. I put it in the washer, and it ripped. <laughs> so if you get this cone from PetSmart, because I think that's where I got it from. If you get this from PetSmart, don't throw it in the washing machine. Hand wash it. <laughs> I learned my lesson, didn't I, Maggie? I learned my lesson, yes. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna get another one just to have for a backup because that Velcro is kind of wearing out a little bit on it. Um, I can tell it's not sticking as good, it's still working. So I'm gonna keep using it until I can't use it anymore, but I need to get another one as a backup because um, I'm sure sometime down the road, I may need the cone of shame again for someone else. So, <laughs> yeah, so don't wash this cone if you buy it. Um, What else is going on? I was going to start grooming dogs today, but I decided not to. I was going to start with Milo over here and then do Mozzie. But I decided since we had Grant's appointment today, I was just going to get all my laundry done. Get all my laundry done. And um, make sure the house is all cleaned. And that way when I groom, start grooming dogs, I don't have anything like that to think about. Everything will be cleaned. All laundry will be done. All I've got to worry about is grooming dogs the next couple days. Right, Miggy? Just got to worry about grooming you boys. And cleaning up the hair. Sorry about that, guys. My son walked in the door. He's over uh, washing his car with our power washer. <laughs> he walked in. The boys went nuts. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, I think I was saying I was talking about um, I'm going to start grooming the boys uh, tomorrow. Um, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Real fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will be back in just a second for you guys. Um, after we take him to the vet and see uh, what the update is on his eye. And I will let you guys know. All right. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys. We're back from the vet. And <coughs> Mr. Grant's <coughs> ulcer is almost completely gone. Um, it's barely there, she said. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for good news. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yes, Grant. We're so happy. Yes, aren't we? We're so happy. Um, she said it's barely hanging on there. Uh, she wants to see him again next week on Monday. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to put this dog bed over here off the couch. Um, she wants to see him next Monday just to double check everything. And then we're probably going to start giving him some eye drops for allergies in that eye because his what they call his third eyelid has been very irritated through this and she's wondering if um, him having allergy problems in that eye if maybe he was pawing at his eye um, without me noticing and that's what ended up with how he ended up with the corneal ulcer um, we're not sure but he um, does need some drops for that after this ulcer's um, completely gone because she said she can't treat that um, that problem until this ulcer's gone because the medications would 
um, I don't, what, what would you say, clash? <laughs> um, it would interfere with what we're doing for his ulcer. So we have to wait till that's all cleared up to start to help with his third eyelid, um, the irritation there. So hopefully I just made that make sense. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yes, great news today. It's almost gone. And I'm hoping, so what's that? Monday next week will be the first. We have an appointment at two. Um, so hopefully the ulcer will be completely gone by then. And then we can get the irritation in his third eyelid gone. And then on the 10th, he'll have his surgery for the masses on his side here. Right here. You can kind of tell where they protrude out here. So, fingers crossed. It's a go for surgery on the 10th for that. Oh my goodness, this has been... <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. For something they originally said, oh, it'll probably just take, you know, three to five days, it'll be gone. Oh, what's it been now? This is his fourth recheck, I think. Third or fourth. <laughs> so what's it been, three weeks? <laughs> but a lot of you have told me that it took, it took weeks um, to get your dog's corneal ulcer gone, but, um, so I guess that's what it's gonna, it's taken for, for Grant too. So I'm just happy for good news today. I'll take it and it'll be gone soon. And then we won't have to do eye drops all the time, Grant. Yes. We'll have to probably do them for the allergy though problem. Um, whatever's causing that irritation in the corner of your eye, but not so many Grant and it'll be all over with all over with and you won't have to wear that cone anymore grant you won't have to wear that cone anymore i know you hate it i hate it <laughs> all right guys i gotta make dinner i gotta feed them dinner now um so i hope everybody's having a great start to their week and we will talk to you guys again uh in our next video bye guys